Hello, um, it's uh, Antiloquax here again and I'm going to do a little tutorial today in Small Basic just to show you how to make a simple bouncy ball program which uh, is kind of fun and also the first step in writing some games. So I'm going to call it Ball SB. So um, first thing to do is set up a graphics window. So the way we do that is we do graphics window dot show, which just means that we're going to make the graphics window visible. Graphics window dot title. So we can give it a title and. Uh, I'm going to call this bouncing ball. Then we need to set up how big we want the graphics window to be. Um, I'm going to go for 400. I'll make the height 300. Then I'm going to just set a couple of variables so that. Um, when I'm deciding when I'm drawing the circle for my ball, it's I can use a variable. So the width is going to be 50, and the height is going to be 50. Then I'm going to set up what colour we're going to draw in. So brush colour it will. Uh, control the colour that the ball is coloured in with and pen colour will do the outline. So I'm going to set those as two different colours just so that you can see that working. This is the command that actually draws the the circle that we're going to use. Not ball H, sorry, ball equals shapes. Add ellipse, so it's that's the command that draws uh, circles and ellipses, and I'm going to make it ball h, comma ball width. Okay, so now we're going to set some variables to show where the ball's going to start and how fast it's fast it's going to go. X speed is one, that means it's going to move one pixel across the screen at each frame. Sorry, that should have been Y speed. And that's going to control how fast it goes uh, up and down. Then we can set some uh, beginning positions. So ball X is, one, is zero and ball Y is zero. When you're doing graphics on the computer, zero. Zero is uh, the top left corner of the screen, which is a bit unusual, but you'll get used to that as well. Now we need to make a timer, um, which is going to control um, how fast the game goes. So we do timer dot interval equals point one, um, and timer tick. equals tick sub. So what that means is that it's going to run through this program with uh, one sec point 0.1 of a second uh, d delay between each frame and it's every time it does that it's going to do all the things that are in this subroutine that I've called the tick sub. You can obviously change that quite a lot. I'm, at the moment I'm running this with not very much uh, hardware acceleration or anything to make my video work so it doesn't run particularly fast but when you have a go with it you should get some uh, slightly nippier graphics. The 
So, sub tick speed, sorry, tick sub, this is the subroutine that actually controls what's going to happen during the uh, during each frame of the game. So, I'm going to move my ball first of all. So, ball x equals ball x plus x speed. Oops. So it's just going to add whatever um, we've set the speed to be to the x coordinate. And then we'll do the same with the y speed. So and then we actually move it. So shapes dot move and we name the thing that we're moving, which is the ball, and what we're doing, what we want it to do on the uh, x-axis with a comma, and what we want it to do for the y-axis. Okay, now we need to obviously check to see if the ball is moving off screen. Actually, we can just run that now and see how far we've got. Oh, it's not happy because I haven't put an n sub in, so if I just do n sub. So now we've got a ball which is red with a blue ring around it, and it's just going to disappear off the bottom of the screen. So we need to actually get it to bounce. So if ball y uh, is less than zero. So in other words, if that's going to control whether it's moving off the top of the screen, then ball y equals zero. So we put it back on the edge again. And we're going to change y speed and all we're going to do is make it the inverse. So if it was previously 1, it will become minus 1. So it will go in the opposite direction. This also means that if you change the speed of the ball, that will still work. It will just invert it. And then what, we've gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a little, another little marker here, which is going to be n tick sub. Because, um, in fact, I'll just call it n tick. That's easier. Um, just because... Uh, Small basic doesn't like you to put lots of n subs in the middle of the program, so I s instead of that, I put a label just before the end sub, uh, which we can then jump to when we want to. Okay. Um, then we're going to do an else if. Um, so if uh, ball, sorry, if ball y. plus ball height is greater than so what they're saying is if, if um, the y coordinate of the ball plus the height of the ball is greater than the size of the window, the height of the window then obviously it's about to go off the bottom I don't really want that capital H there. Then <coughs> ball y equals graphics window height. So we just want it to be um, minus ball h more but ball y. Sorry, so we're going to put it to the to the very edge. Sorry, ball height. And again, I'm going to invert the y speed. And if we've done all that, we can go to the uh, go to the centic label that we're going to set up. So. Um, all I need to do now is just check that that's working. Um, 
So this is a label. We've looked at those a little bit before when we did go tos. So if I do that as n tick, that should work. Let's have a go at that. Oh, I haven't done an end. I haven't done an end if. So now it's going to hopefully not fall off the bottom. Yeah. But it is obviously going to go off the sides because we haven't we've got to do something very similar now for the uh for the x coordinate. So if ball x plus ball width is greater than Oops. Graphics window width. So if it's going off the side, then <coughs> ball x equals graphics window minus ball width. So this will just put it, put it right on the edge again. And we need to change the x speed in exactly the same way that we did before to the offset. Um, and then we can put the go to in. Go to end tick. And then we need an else if to cope with uh, the left hand side. Else if. ball x is less than zero, so if it's going off the left hand side, same as before, x speed equals minus x speed, and um, go to n tick, whoops, don't want to do that, Something to end that if, that's the end of that if statement. So I think I've got a few blank lines in there that I don't need. So the end tick, um, just to reinforce that, has got a colon at the end of it because it's a, a label. Oops, I forgot to put a then in. Should have put in width there. Okay, so that's good. Actually, you can see there how the uh, small basic compiler does help you. So that if you've made a mistake, it tries to help you. So there you can see the ball's bouncing around the square, um, and it won't go off from the height, the bottom, or the or the sides. Obviously, if you want to uh, have a little play with this, you can change some of these things. So um, one of the ways that you learn, I think, is to experiment a little bit. So if I make that yellow, make that yellow, I can change the size of the ball. Let's make it a little bit smaller just for the sake of argument. It'll tend to run a bit faster as well if I make the window smaller. So, And then I could try changing the speed to 2. You'll find it's a bit jerky, as I said, because I've changed my graphic settings. So now we've got a ball that's going a lot quicker. It's mm, strangely there, the outline is in black. Obviously I've made it... Ah, that's because I didn't spell yellow correctly. So there you go. You can see uh, some of the things that you can do with this. Um, a little play and see what you can do. Um, this is sort of well on the way to making some kind of little bat and ball game which we can look at uh, another time. Okay I'm going to leave it there for today. Thanks for watching. <laughs>